anytime you have the leaders of two consequential countries coming together and meeting face to face and uh, having direct and straightforward dialogue with each other, I think that's a good thing. And it, may, it ensures that uh, the two leader leaders um, are hearing from each other directly in an unmediated way, and I think there's a, a great deal of clarity uh, about that kind of communication. And as President Biden noted, uh, there's no substitute for um, face-to-face, in-person communication. So I think that was very positive. I think a lot of the tensions in the U.S.-China relationship are very deeply rooted, and I think there are uh, certain issues on the U.S.-China agenda. Uh, certainly as the United States construes that agenda, that are essentially intractable. You know, Taiwan is one of those, and I know that came up in a prominent way uh, in the bilateral meeting between the two presidents. But at the same time, I think the thing that was encouraging about the bilateral meeting is that there was an effort to um, look at the other issues in the relationship where collaboration makes sense for both sides and for the region and for the world. And so. I think there um, was um, a positive um, vibe, if you will, to the meeting in the sense that uh, there's a willingness to look at issues like artificial intelligence, uh, military to military communication, um, the issue of fentanyl and the precursors, um, and uh, a number of other issues, climate and so on. And I think that's, that's good. That's encouraging. And it's the direction that the relationship should go. So overall, I think the bilateral uh, summit between the two presidents was positive, and I think the uh, goal of the two uh, leaders is to get the relationship stabilized and to get it moving in a more functional direction that serves the interests of both countries, and I think it was a good step in that direction.